We've been in a pretty good run of form, winning five on the bounce in the league. But that came to an end during the matches between videos. Let's jump into the scores. And then today we're taking on Man City. Uh, we'll have highlights for that. And then we have the FA Cup fifth round matchup with Arsenal today. So let's get into it. Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 21. This is our journeyman save. We're on our third club, and this is episode 31. I think it's 31. I hope it's 31. If it's not, oh well. Uh, let's take a look. After uh, last episode, we ended our five-match ma unbeaten streak, uh, winning streak in the league uh, with a 4-1 defeat to Burnley. Cesar got the lone goal after the break. Uh, Rob Davies and Fabian Buck, both with braces for Burnley. We then turn, came back and beat Chelsea 5-2. to two. Both of our strikers, Eric Graves and Noel Mark, with braces, and Menzer Jasufi with a late goal in the 90th minute. And then a 3-0 clean sheet against Leeds United. Jasufi with a brace in that one, and Eric Graves tallying yet another goal. If we take a look at our squad here. Uh, so Cesar is now on 10 goals, Baffer with 9, Graves with 24, and Noel Mark has gotten to another milestone with 31 goals. So 55 goals for our strike duo. Uh, they are doing very well. Aaron Fowler is suspended for the next match for yellow card accumulation. The transfer window has also uh, passed. We're now into March. And uh, we really didn't do anything. We loaned out a bunch of players. Uh, David Kelly came back from D.C. United uh, earlier in the year. Uh, he goes back out to Birmingham. Uh, Kukelis goes off to our affiliate club. Uh, Mark Clegg off to Sunderland. Christian to Wickham. And Javier Gonzalez joins Kelly at Birmingham. That's really the only news. Uh, we did bring in a couple of young players. Joshua Kahindi. Maybe. Uh, no great shakes. These guys were both young English players, and that's why I brought them. I just was trying to add depth uh, for English nationality. If we take a look at our, like we were trying to do the Euro registration for the next stage, and I was four players short because you could, you know, I didn't have enough English players to fill the mandatory quota. So we're actually having to be four players light on registration there. All right, well, let me get uh, this match played up. We'll be right back with highlights. All right, well, we were hoping for a continuation of our run, but Man City just blew past McNeil into the box, and uh, Amako puts Manchester City up 1-0. Man City was in fourth position coming into this match. A couple of deflections, some good defense, but we couldn't get a clearance, and that left Morgan available to put Man City up 2-0. There was a good through ball to Mark, and he beats Salvareza, got us back to a 2-1 disadvantage with uh, just a couple of minutes in the first half left. Mark plays it through to his strike partner, Graves, and he equalizes in the 57th minute. And things are looking good. Maybe we've got a comeback on. But just a couple of minutes later, headed down, and Bass Penning is left unmarked by Pascarello. And that ended our day 3-2. to two. We were outshot 19-12. to 12. Again, the shots, I'm not losing so much sleep over uh, because we have gone back to that 4-2-4. So it's not that huge shot accumulation. Uh, McNeil was injured in this one, a groin strain. He'll be out four to five weeks. So that's going to leave a hole in our back line. Uh, 30 years old. If he wasn't English, I'd already have moved him on, right? <laughs> Normally, probably most of you as well. All right. Well, that has, uh, Arsenal has climbed up into second position. 
We are kind of holding on with a five-point advantage at this point. Uh, we were up as many as eight, but we've lost two of our last five, as you can see there. But luckily, everybody else has been dropping games as well. All right, let's get up to the Arsenal match. We do play them twice in quick succession, uh, but the next one will be that FA Cup fifth round matchup. Well, there is something one year ahead of schedule. We have become an established Premier Division team, so that is good. Baffer is now happy that I have lived up to the promise that we have established ourselves as a Premier League team. Noel Mark gets a 300, another $325,000 bonus for hitting 25 goals. And Gerver is starting to look good. There, Man United had a is on a 10-game unbeaten run. All right, so we're going to go with Solis in goal, a back four of Wheel, Fowler, Hildon, and Licka, Felipe and Jasufi in the mid, Baffer and Romaine on the wings, Graves and Mark up top, and we are taking on Arsenal in the FA Cup fifth round, which is the level we're supposed to get to this season. But I would sure like to uh, do a little bit better and possibly win some silverware this year. That's, that's the goal. All right, let's encourage them. Uh, we've drawn Red Bull Salzburg in uh, the Euros uh, next, uh, the next round in the knockouts. So that'll be coming up. All right, we have a highlight here. And Baffer takes a long shot from way outside the box. And look at that. Oh, beautiful kick by their keeper. Caught him in stride. Oh, look at Graves. Finds Felipe. Over the top to Mark. Oh, and Mark just rounds the keeper. Dalmaz took a dive at it. But boy, he was caught way off his line. And what a pass. That was a ping and a half. Felipe from inside our own half spots Mark and just pings it out to him and he curls it just inside the post. What a run by the Frenchman and we've taken the 1-0 lead. But we do come back here to an Arsenal highlight 21st minute. It's cleared out. Graves is on to it. Mark's running with him in the middle, but Graves beats his man, and he beats the keeper, and that's Graves with his 26th of the season, and we've opened up a 2 to nothing advantage in the 21st minute of the match here. Looking good. And then, of course, we come right back with an Arsenal highlight. I was a little worried about this just a minute ago, but they've held possession here, and there's a shot. Oh, boy, they got the bounce on it, and then it's cleared. But there was an offsides for Magoma, so that's good. And we have five shots to three and two goals from a 0.66 XG. Got to like that. All right, wheel. Mark's picked out. There's a through ball to Graves. He takes a couple of touches. Oh, and Graves, he, oh, he did not get a good foot on that one. Nice little recovery and a dump-in pass, but he did not do much with it. Let's go ahead and praise him here for the final couple of minutes. He'll done just inside our half. So we did talk a little bit. Well, let's see what happens here. Oh, Noel Mark, number 34 on the season at the near post. Looks like Sophia, uh, Sophia could not pressure him as he's sitting on a yellow. That was a nice run by Romain. And he's got, he's, he's having a heck of a season for us again, even though he's only a three-star player now in the scheme of things. He has been really good. In fact, let's take a look at him real quick. So you can see he's three-star, 26 years old, in his prime, valued at $39 million. 23 starts, 4 goals, 13 assists. He has really looked good. And we are now sporting a 3-0 advantage into the halftime, and we are looking really good here. Arsenal's only managed 3 shots with 1 on target. We're going to go with the outstretched arms. 
and we're going to praise them in the early going. And Dalmaz picks that one up. Oh, that would have been brilliant if he would have flubbed that uh, little rollout and we could have gotten an easy goal, huh? That would have been nice. All right, Felipe. The one two with Graves. Mark takes a crack at it. All right, headed down to Felipe. Baffer. There's the overlap to Josh Wheel. Little one two triangle action. Wheels into the middle. Oh, what a pass. He just threaded the needle to Noel Mark. That's his 35th. And he's got a hat trick today. It's Leicester City 4, Arsenal nil, And we're just minutes into the second half of this game. That was a brilliant pass. He just threaded it between Turton and Sophia. He might, those, him and uh, Romain might be two of the best players that I've ever had in football manager from a creativity standpoint. Solis grabs that one. It's lumped up. Graves picks it up in stride. Brilliant first touch, and he's taken down by Grimm. And it's a bad fairy tale for Arsenal, as there's going to be a penalty here. VAR is checking it, and it is a penalty. I would think that Mark would take it. No, it's going to be Romain. Mark's already got his hat trick, I guess. Uh, and Mark Romain slots it home, very calm. His sixth of the season, he's got a good penalty taking from what I remember. Don't remember what it is. I guess we could look, huh? We could. Penalty in here somewhere. Penalty taking, a 13. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. We are having one heck of a game today. Arsenal looking to create something here. Just Sufi making the run, and it's crossed in. Solis picks it up easily. No threat. Let's go ahead and make some subs here. i tell you what, Melvin Gerber, let's bring him on for Hildon. Give him a rest. Uh, Mateus, let's bring him on for just Sufi. And Mensa, let's bring him in for Romaine. We'll go ahead and make all three subs here at one time. That was a poor ball by the keeper. And they are right back on us here in our third of the pitch. Look like a tackle in the box. There's a good deflection. That's lumped out. Turton is caught out, and Graves has passed him, and he's put in his 27th of the season, and he has a brace now in this one. I believe that's his second. He, it said he doubled his tally. What a ball out by Felipe. And then Turton just, he just got burned. That was not a good decision by him. All right, here's Gerber. He plays it out to Menza. A couple of the subs are looking to make an impact here. There's Mark. Oh, what a brilliant ball, and Eric Graves now has his hat trick. Both of our strikers on hat tricks as we are dismantling Arsenal by a score of 7 to nil. That is just crazy. All right, let's, uh, let's praise him. Oh, there's a nice ball up to Baffer. Squared into Mark. Back to Baffer. Oh, laid off to Wheel, and Wheel slots it home. I'm going to say the keeper might have been screened out right there. I don't think he saw him lining up that shot, but boy, that was a great effort. So here's Wheel. He started right there. Watch the run he makes right there. Uh, and he just played it right down that wall of players. I don't think De DeMar had any shot at that. And it's an 8 to nothing score. Now you would like to get out of here with a clean sheet. Uh-oh. And, of course, I just jinxed it. Fernando Machado gets his 10th of the season. 
and we concede on the set piece. Arsenal back with another highlight. I, there's no way we give up seven more goals in 16 minutes. There's just not. But we certainly could lose our focus here. All right, that's headed out. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually uh, tell him to focus. Don't lose your focus here. You know, champions have to find a way to make sure they close out these games in good fashion. Boy, we just coming back highlight after highlight here. Gerver plays it up to Licka. Licka gets up to midfield. Uh, Baffer cannot get to that. Fernandez on the counter. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, a little cheeky back heel kick. Oh, and that's a shot from the edge of the box. Goes high. Now let's just run some clock here. Come on. Come on, game. There we go. That's what we want to see at this point. Nothing else really happening. Two minutes of stoppage time. And it's going to be Leicester 8, Arsenal 1. And a dominant performance, 27 shots, 16 on target. Very happy with the result. That second goal was a little tacky that we let get away from us. All right, so we win. We get 541,000. Mark with a hat trick and an assist. Evidently, Arsenal had won quite a few matches against us without us competing. All right, let's take a look. All right, so next episode, we're definitely going to be playing uh, the doubleheader against Salzburg. Uh, we'll come back with uh, probably the uh, Salzburg highlights. We'll probably show you Arsenal highlights, and then we'll play uh, Salzburg on camera in the second leg. And uh, I don't know when the quarterfinal draw is. Let's see if it tells us on here. Uh, FA Cup. There's the semifinal. I don't see the FA Cup quarterfinal. So not sure. I was going to show you that if it was here, but I don't see it. All right, so I'm going to play Everton off camera. Guys, we'll see you next episode. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget daily football manager content here on the channel with releases Monday through Saturday all coming out at 8 a.m. Central Time here in the States. That's 2 p.m. in the afternoon over in London. Thanks so much. We will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.